Question 4. A rectangle has a length of 5 plus 2x inches and a width of 10 inches. Okay, so I have a shape, rectangle, and I have some measurements. The length is 5 plus 2x inches and the width is 10 inches. So what I like to do is when, whenever they give me a shape is I like to draw it. So let's go ahead and draw our rectangle. Okay, they said the length is 5 plus 2x and the width, w, is 10 inches. Okay, now we're going to continue. A triangle has a base of 30 inches and a height of 4x minus 10 inches. I have another shape, it's a triangle, and I have the base of 30 inches and height of 4x minus 10 inches. Let's go ahead and draw that one. Here's my triangle. The B, the base, which is down here, is 30. And the height, which is right over here, is 4x minus 10. Let's continue. The area in square inches of the rectangle is equal to the area in square inches of the triangle. Okay, so the area of the rectangle is equal to the area of the triangle. What is the value of x? And I need to find x. All right, so we're talking about area. Let's go ahead and write down the formulas for area of a rectangle. Okay, the formula for the area of a rectangle is area equals length times width. And the formula for the area of a triangle is area equals one half base times length. Sorry, base times height. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, base times height, h. Okay, so let's go ahead and find the areas first. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So I have a equals length is 5 plus 2x. I'll put that in parentheses times the width is 10. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and distribute here. I have one, two parts. Parenthesis is multiply. I'm going to do 10 times 2x. 10 times 2x is 20x. And again, 10 times 5. 10 times 5 is positive 50. There's my area for that. Let's go ahead and do the formula, I mean the area for the uh, triangle now. Area equals 1 half times base, which is 30, times the height, which is 4x minus 10. Area equals the first two first, one half times 30, half of 30 is 15, parenthesis copy 4x minus 10. Now we can go ahead and do it, we're gonna distribute. I have one, two parts, parenthesis is multiply. 15 times four is, uh, let's see, 60x. 15 times negative 10 is negative 150. There we go. All right, so I have both of the areas. Now, they said the area of the rectangle is equal to the area of the triangle. Let's put them equal here. So I'm going to have 20x plus 50 equals 60x minus 150. We're going to go ahead and do our lines, our line. All right, so I have two x's. I need to have only one. So I always just move the one on the right. So let's go ahead and move that letter that's on the right. This is positive, the opposite is negative. So minus 60x, we're gonna copy it under the x. 20 minus 60 is negative 40x. Copy down, positive 50 equals 60 minus 60 is zero, it cancels. Copy down negative 150. I want the x alone, but it's not alone. I have two numbers with x right over here, negative 40 and positive 50. Never move the number that's touching the letter first, so I will not move negative 40. I will move positive 50 first. The opposite of positive is negative. Negative 50, copy. Okay, copy down, negative 40x. Circle that letter. 50 minus 50 is zero equals negative 150 minus 50 is negative 200. Okay, now I want the x alone, but it's not alone. I have negative 40. 
If there's no sign in the middle, it's multiply. This is multiplication. Right now, this is negative 40 times x. The opposite of multiply is divide, negative 40. So whenever you divide, keep the same sign. Divided by negative 40. This cancels, copy x equals, and let's go ahead and just stick that in the calculator. Negative 200 divided by negative 40, five. This is my x. So what is the value of x? The value of x is five. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a like, leave a comment, and uh, I'll see you next time.